Hello and welcome to this video series How to Produce Your First Website with Blue Griffin presented by Easier Internet Marketing. OK, now last time we looked at how we want to plan out the website we're going to build with Blue Griffin. We've got two objectives in this video. Firstly, to start putting text onto our first web page, and then we'll be looking very briefly at how we should save our work. Here's a template we developed in the last video. So let's get started by going straight to Blue Griffin software. So here's a Blue Griffin homepage. Let's um, just click on create a page in a new tab here. Okay, so there we've got a new page in a new tab. Notice this um, this tab here untitled. Okay, what we're going to do now is give this page a name. So click on Format, Page Properties, and we'll call this one um, Page One. So type in Page One. Okay, right. And now notice we've got uh, the, the page here and also the top of the page here. Right, now here's where we're going to be typing in some text. Let's just go over here and let's just type in some text. Let's say, um, welcome to my first web page created in Blue Griffin. OK. And do another one below, I think. Let's put down here, I hope you enjoy the page. Right, so there we've got two lines there of text. Now what we can do, we can change the size of the text. So let's look now at making the text bigger. First thing to do is to highlight the whole thing. Let's highlight it. Now down here you'll see the percent increases. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it 200% um, so it happens. OK, so there we've got our two lines now, a bit bigger there. Now, we can also change the format of these. If we go up here, we can change it to um, increase the emphasis. Now, notice increase, increasing the emphasis is the same as the italic button. And if we do a strong emphasis, it's italic and the bold. So let's just click this off again in a second. OK, and then we can then do bold alone, or we can turn it off and do italic alone. We can do underlining. Check the line, there we go. And what else can we do with it? Well, we can use it as bullet points, click those off, or numbered order. Okay, we can change alignment whether it's line left or put it in the middle of the page, perhaps, or put it right. We can justify it or we can tab it. So let's take tab away for them. Okay, so those are the f basic features of putting text in there. Now, let's see, we can add a little bit of color to this as well. Let's just give it a space there. Let's um, Clearly underlined from that as well. Now let's put a bit of colour on these. So to get colour, what we're going to do, we're going to highlight the whole lot. Okay, and go up to the um, Cascade Style Sheets. Click on that. Let's just bring it in here. There we go. Now for this one, we're looking at colours. Just go there a second. All these here is worth just clicking on these and seeing what they do. But for the moment, looking at colours, click on colour. Look at the um, the foreground. The foreground will be the text. Now I like um, red. Let's click on a red there. OK. And OK. So we've got to give it a unique um, ID. Just use it again. So let's just call it A1. And if we just click over here, we see now we've got red lettering. Now what would also be nice would be to um, put some colour in the background. So again, let's come up here. Let's highlight the whole lot. The background. Now I think. Um, Nice yellow would do there. So put some yellow in as well. So a bit yellow in, and OK. And there we go. And there we've got some colour into the background. Let's close that down a bit. So what we've got so far is we have put in our first part of the text. We have seen how to change the text format. The other thing we could do as well is to highlight this here. If we go um, this link here, we can actually change the font. So let's go down to. Um, Comic Sans, there's a good one, Comic Sans. Again, we can change the font, all very easy. Now, the next thing to think about is um, how we're going to change what we've created. Now, we're going to go up here, File, Save As. Now, it's really, really important that you save all of your website into the same folder. Now, I've got a, a folder called My First Page. Um, I already got something in there, but I'm going to call this page one. So let's just save this page one, and that will go into the same folder. 
okay so we've now saved it so what we've achieved we've put some text in and we've now saved it into a folder in the next video we'll be looking at how we can put tables into this and start to tabulate the whole format Thanks for watching this video produced by Easier Internet Marketing. I'll be back with you again very soon. Bye bye for now.